Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy. You know who I am. And I need you to go to our website, tpsgpodcast.com. Check out the gear. We got stuff from cell phone cases all the way to hats. Go get yourself fresh. Holla. Hey, your boys are back. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> What's good, fellas? How y'all feeling? Feeling good, feeling great. Feeling great, feeling good. How are you? We're hanging out. Yo, we can't have normal conversations, can we? We really can't. We really boys, can't. The physics we tried once. Moves. Maybe twice. <laughs> Word. Mm. And then boom. Continue our actually normal, black. Our last normal conversation was our decision to start this podcast. <laughs> yep, that pretty much. Accurate. And mm. you know it's your boy I seen Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, aka Shabby Ranks, aka Samurai Black, aka What's Black up? Dynamite, aka Twist Army Nigga. Twist <laughs> Army Nigga. Latency's gonna be off beat. Swiss army nigga, <laughs> hold the last no. No. And it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Dramatic, aka Wade Chappelle, aka okay? Wavy McGrady, Loud Pat, Chotro, Malcolm Vex, and my favorite one right now, Quarantine Tarantino. Bam. Quarantino. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a Rona, drawing a Rona. I like it. It's very apropos. Ah, and this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Sign, the third, aka Nigga, <laughs> aka Pablo Escovich, aka William Namde, aka Sub Negro, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Ra ra. <laughs> Ironic, rah. ironic. Rah, rah, rah. We gotta say it every time now, huh? <laughs> Ironical, people. Ironic, ironical. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna say good. And who is that in the upper right hand corner? Oh, what's your boy David Bomay, aka Chico Fantastico, the Fantastic Chico, aka Serap Obama, aka. Aid the Hennessy, bless. Kid bestowed us on y'all. What it do, what it does. Is the Hennessy. <laughs> Yo, with day I start, yep. with this guy. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, all day. Brandon, you're upside <laughs> down. I thought you did know, that on purpose. No, 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 I didn't do it on purpose. I'm going to fix it. We're just here hanging out. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what else is upside down? Backward. Oh. It just all out of shape right now. This is COVID life, man. This that's, thing, that's, man. Bro, this that's an understatement. That's an understatement. Like, I, I still can't. I still can't get. I still can't get used to seeing everyone with masks now. It, it's still weird to me. Like, it's uh, I can't process it. It's a little odd. Like, you can't. You barely see facial features. It's just like, hmm, whatever. That was enough. <laughs> and then she got some pretty eyes. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I remember, women, I'm like, man, sh- should I, should I just like, should I? <laughs> should I just go like this real quick so she knows, huh? <laughs> like, you, hey, oh, baby, baby, you, hit with, you hit it with one of these, look. You can go for it now, a little bit. Yeah. I just want to yeah. see if you got yeah. You want to check me, you check me. But yeah. you know, they, they do say the eyes are the windows to the soul, so. Yeah, so that's Word. the most. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm thankful people can't see my whole face. <laughs> yeah, we are too. I don't even want to ask more about that. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be in situations. I'll be like, Ugh. Don't need to get any deeper. I'll be like, what? what? <laughs> all, you, all you can see is the poker face right here. <laughs> I'll never get away be like, <laughs> Right? <laughs> all you see is this. Underneath, I'm like, oh. breathing in those masks suck. Carry Carry glasses. Especially when you got glasses. That's yeah, all. yo, it's like it gets all up in here. You're like, Word. it's ridiculous. I'm over yeah, here. No, no windshield wipers. 
Yeah, I'm at checkout lines adjusting my like, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready for a heist every time I get out the car. <laughs> <laughs> like gloves, man. <laughs> We're like, all right, let's do this. Go, go, go. <laughs> uh, where's the butter? <laughs> you, know, you know how black I am? I put on my glasses purposely to go in the store because I was like, I don't want nobody to think I look crazy right now because I had my hair all out. And everything. I'm like, I feel like I look like a suspect. Let me put on my glasses. That's going to change it. That was so well, ridiculous. Remember, remember what Dion Cole said to uh, manage your blackness. <laughs> yeah. Manage so, your blackness. Yeah. That, was a, that was a good stand up, too. Yeah. 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 The glasses brings your, your, um, your scary meter down like 10 points. Yeah. It just, just makes it more subtle. You're just mm. as scary as just more subtle. Like, people are quicker to smile. But if yeah. you get stern, if you raise an the eyebrow, they're like, <laughs> uh-oh, something's going down. Something's going down. Something's something's going down. down. Deontay's something. going to grab the nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he's holding it sideways. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody <laughs> must have gotten it twisted. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> no. I don't have <laughs> hey, but but quick question for y'all boys: Are y'all ready to like, like, are you prepared to go out into the world with this being permanent now? Like, this is gonna be our life for the foreseeable future. Like, I was never ready. It's to only go gonna be before. for a couple this of years. Always my life. You tops. Like I said, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> right. Hey, I was, I've been looking for reasons to stay in the house. Mm. <laughs> now you got it, man. Yeah. I'm just saying, think of everything canceled, though. Like, sundress season. Yeah. Uh, they canceled sundress season. No, nah, I was not going to get canceled. Uh, no, it's going to be doing it on the ground. Yeah. yeah. On the gra- it's just going to happen on the ground. And I'm just it's always like, sundress season on the ground. I'm, I might yeah, take a mean. break from Instagram for the months of july <laughs> to september like, right i know i gotta take a break from twitter 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 is not good for the soul and it's worse <laughs> during quarantine oh man. man it's way worse during quarantine people are losing their shit bro yeah it's, it's incredible man mm-hmm. like like i'm so glad i have personal <laughs> <hobby. laughs> yeah for real well what is that personal hobby um, I don't gotta tell you niggas nothing about my life. Can you move on? All right, cut them off. <laughs> Take them off the track. Take them off. <laughs> per- personal hobbies include occasionally painting, uh, drawing, even though I suck at drawing. <laughs> you actually do, yeah. Making music, thanks. <laughs> uh, making music, so that's either producing, writing, or I've been actually sharing, a, like, and talking a lot of music with a homie that's been making some beats for a while. And he's he's okay. super dope. I'm surprised he even likes any of my shit. So, you know, that's been happening a lot too. He it's mostly been him sending me stuff though. I'm not trying to brag at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, but like a lot of planning with that. Of course, the reading, a little bit of skateboarding, jumping around between playing the guitar or the keyboard, like just keeping occupied. You know what I mean, and if it wasn't, and if it's not that, I'm researching something about these things to learn. So I might be watching an instructional video on how to work this new music app that I'm producing on. Beat make, I'm not giving no plugs, and um, <laughs> things like that. So like, those are hobbies, I guess, right? Nah, yeah. definitely, definitely. It's something, you know, you're taking advantage of your downtime and you're smoking. Okay. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about. Smoking. I don't. I don't, I don't. Anyway, I mean, I no, but you're taking know. advantage of the downtime and you leveling up. And and at the same time, I did read something like during quarantine, they said, you know, it's good to take advantage of the free time, but at the same time, don't overwork yourself. Like mm. you doing nothing during quarantine is not a bad thing because this is unprecedented. Right. Like nobody saw this coming. So right, take that time. Like, everybody needs a break. Yeah, exactly. If you feel like you're not being productive, you're being lazy, don't feel that way because, you know, nobody saw this coming. Give your body right. a break, man. This is the right. perfect not time every, to say, fuck it and not, slack off. It's not the every perfect time. Not every week has to be productive, you know what I mean? Don't Back. take it the whole time, yeah. but, yo, I wouldn't fault nobody for taking a week off during this last, like, you know, couple months, you know? Mm. No, especially if you, you know, if some 
unfortunate happened that you lost your job because of COVID and stuff. Like, yeah. it's gonna how take people, time. Like, and how many people wish they had a week off, man? Right. Like, just That's wish. Yeah. How many times you wish you were walking into work hoping something just strange out of the ordinary <laughs> happened? <laughs> Oh, oh man, please let there be true. like a smoke bomb or something at work <laughs> so I can go home because I can't <laughs> like, stay. Yo, I can't do it. Yeah, yo, yo, one time, one time at my old job. There's a hold up. There's a there's a middle school kid that thinks he did this. Like he's <laughs> walking to class, he got a test. <laughs> like, please God, just cancel school. Oh, <laughs> next day. <laughs> we'll cancel. No school. Done. He's in the corner <laughs> shaking. I did this. A guy. And then, and then after two months of quarantine, it's like, okay, I, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> right? like, what, what they talking about? Like, we gotta go just to for the at day. Home. This is the worst nightmare I've ever had. <laughs> for real, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I got hot. I got hot because the youth fair got canceled. Mm, and if you're from really, Miami, you know about the youth fair. Yeah, right. I ain't gonna lie. I really wanted to get me a turkey leg <laughs> and an elephant ear. I was, because I got here, I got back here like the last, the last week it would have been open. <clears throat> oh, damn. I got back. So I would have been able to go and get my turkey leg, <laughs> get my cheese on a stick on. Yeah, you can only have that one. Yeah, it's like the best thing ever invented, man. It's cheddar cheese. cheese. All cheddar the cheese. worst things. Yeah, it's me. like a block of cheddar cheese in the corn dog, you know, cornmeal, whatever. It's fire, man. Do you feel your heart stop after you eat that? Where? Y'all don't y'all don't know about cheese elegance. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> did, did that in some wine, nigga? <laughs> oh, you're gross. That's gross. You said dip it in some wine. <laughs> this is what I'm talking I'm actually, about. Niggas, niggas experimented during quarantine. For Get the record, I've never done shit. that. I just <laughs> thought of it for the joke. And now, just get uh, boy, just try, just try this shit. Boy, I know that's you, not I know some Tiger cold. King stuff. You do that next to your cage. It's a Tiger King. <laughs> I know your colon hates you, nigga. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> you brought the colons into this. <laughs> the colon made of steel. How's your skin not one big pimple? <laughs> I got good skin, baby. <laughs> my colon not oh, yeah, said man. I'm cool. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> oh, I think, no. Yeah, you you were kind of personal there. Oh, I think no. um I think the worst thing <laughs> I think the worst thing, even though it sounds trivial, is that I can't go to the barber. I look like a homeless Jewish kid. Dog, oh, <laughs> Brad. I need a retwist so bad. I need a little freaking. Oh Lord. First of Lord. all, Jordan. Ah, damn. First of all, dramatic. <laughs> I never thought you looked Jewish until now. Second of all, <laughs> I have a Jewish name, Jordan. What's crazy Come is on. you also look like a Jew that's not native to Israel and a Jew that's native to Israel in ancient yeah. history. That is amazing, sir. High five. And then my mom, and then my mom tells me all the time I look like Al Qaeda. So. That's your mom me. is mean. Nah, my mom be roasting me, bro. <laughs> your mom is hilarious. Oh my god. I interrupt it. <laughs> and she said like that too, Al Qaeda. <laughs> no, no. He, no, she be like, you can't shave the beard. You look like Al Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, 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 it's Al Qaeda. Yeah. <laughs> look like women in the if Joe Maddox went to the airport and started sprinting, every alert would fire oh, up. I would, I, would be, I would drop to the ground, bro. <laughs> they, would, they would shoot me with a bear tranquilizer. Uh, you, can't leave, just, you can't leave luggage next, can't leave luggage <laughs> next to nobody. Yo, it's not even that dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic innately looks suspicious. It's not because you're black. Oh, I have it's, it's not because you're black. It's your movements, dog. <laughs> you're like, but I have back somewhere and be like, walking like a big <laughs> panther and shit. I would do that on purpose, though. I would like, do that sir? on purpose. <laughs> so I can get some lawsuit money. <laughs> like, I was just walking in the airport and the officers tapping me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a U.S. citizen. I, I don't know. I need retribution. <laughs> retribution. Just put a bunch of math homework in the book bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What are, what are these plants? Are you building something? You have to try to build my degree. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Always trying to keep a black. Yeah. Right? Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Can I go? <laughs> What's in his book bag? And they pull out a copy of Purpose Driven Life and like, oh. <laughs> and a Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Bible, are you guys still getting your church on during the quarantine? My oh, church yeah. I wasn't on... going to church before quarantine. Online. Yeah. Oh. yeah, my church is on Periscope. I do online church sometimes before quarantine. Yeah, yeah they're on Periscope and YouTube. <laughs> Word. And it and it, it it's uh, it's so funny because yeah. like like the choir would be singing and like they're like singing to no one and no one's like singing along with them. Mm -hmm. I know you feel weird. They didn't made a production out of it though. They just feel like choir they, practice. They made a, man. They made a hey, great production. Shout, quick quick shout out shout out to PCC shout out to Metro. Oh yeah, shout, shout out to PCC. Oh, yeah. Who? Quick shout out Jesus. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. One time. So have y'all have y'all have y'all done anything during quarantine that you don't usually do? And nothing personal. I seen black people probably say some shit like, oh yeah, I switched to my left hand and not my right hand. <laughs> oh no, you know I so it, well. <laughs> You saw that you saw that meme with Tom the cat and he's turned around and you see the bottle of jergens right there. <laughs> <laughs> that Man, but that's oh, yeah. Now. oh yeah, that meme. Yo, yo, <laughs> that meme is like it's too it's too good. It's too specific. Like it, it really looks like it happened in the cartoon. Like they edited it so well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. How do y'all feel about all these little, you know, TikToks and everyone just doing these things on online right now? Like, have y'all seen point, anything really great and interesting yet? I, I, I personally, I have. Um, well, recently, y'all know Jason Derulo, right? <laughs> yeah, the dude, the dude that keeps talking about his penis and that was in Cats. Yes, you he talked his... about his penis. I didn't know that. Yeah, way too much. I don't oh, even I didn't follow know him anymore. <laughs> no, but like he he posted, you know those TikToks where they have they got the dance and they do the dance to the music. Yeah, he posted one and everybody said, "Oh, it's mad corny," and then he took it and ran with it. He started making more TikToks and everything, and like it, there's a lot of funny ones out there. Some people try way too hard, mm. and I don't even have to yeah. point them out. You can watch them and you can see like, all right, you're not funny. You're you're trying your hardest to be funny, yeah. but there's some Oofy. good ones out there. There's really some good ones. Boosie like, um, turned into a marketing guru. They gave yeah. Boosie a show. They gave him a show yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. I, I I don't know where it's at, but they gave him a show. It's like a reality show, following Boosie around his regular yeah. life and shit like that. Shout out to and shout out to Tori on you know on subject of celebrities Boosie. that got shows Boosie. off of this. Uh, Tori Lane's Boosie. Boosie. Yeah. Radio. Quarantine yeah. Radio. Boosie. Radio. Crazy yo. Yo, that joke went nuts. The crazy and, shit you know, about that is... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, what are you saying? The crazy shit about that? No, the whole the whole demon time thing, you know about that? Mm -mm. Yeah. Heard about it. That like, was the what? Like, like, apparently, like, um, what's his name? The weekend was on quarantine radio, and he, he was in the chat, like, put a demon on. And he was talking about, a, like, they call women demons now. It's weird. Oh. I, but it's it's a specific type of woman. It's like a it's like a thigh. Oh mm. uh, yeah. So that's why I say you want demon time. Beyonce said it in that remix with Meg the Stallion and shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. I can't keep up with these new fangled slangs. Oh, yeah. It's like the it's oh, like a Instagram strip club, I think they said it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it was coined in a strip club, you said? Yeah. It, like, it was like an Instagram in strip club. Strip club. Mm, so like I people go live and just let it all loose. You know what I mean? And, and Beyonce yeah. find the OnlyFans hustle. So yeah, yeah, it's it's in the deep deep dark corners of IG. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Beyonce put, Beyonce put the back like if there wasn't already a battery in the OnlyFans back, Beyonce put it there. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Yeah. Hey, but do you think? But what is what is what is OnlyFans like anyway? What is that? Only OnlyFans is a it's like thing. So if you have this this IG model that you like, and she has OnlyFans, you pay her monthly, and she'll have twerking videos or whatever. So only. The, the, but the but that's the thing. It's not only for nastiness, though. People, do yeah, yeah. There. They they rap. They do poetry. So it's, it's like a a lot of yeah. If you like teach a class or like have like some niche knowledge, like a lot of those people have OnlyFans, where you pay a mm -hmm. subscription and whatever yeah. subscription they set for it, for mm -hmm. their content. However, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only where I place yeah. I get OnlyFans on them like Instagram model. <laughs> Some I'll Instagram model hour. pages. <laughs> I've only seen, yeah, on Instagram model pages where, um, and they're like, this is not a, you know, a cam site or something. I usually see that kind of comment under it. It's like, yeah, what, not anymore. what is OnlyFans? Not anymore. These, these niggas are, these niggas are paying out of the pocket for OnlyFans. Like, it, it's crazy. It, yeah, man. Like, some of these girls making like 100000 in a month, yo. Easy. And, they, and they'll post it. They'll post their receipts. And their mm -hmm. monthly earnings is crazy, dog. Oh, it is, yo. man. It's crazy. That's like insane. Like, like, remember when we were talking about the sex dolls? And I forgot. I think it was, I think it was <laughs> Flocka Zulu who said, we put way too much thought and money into, into sex and things. Like, into nastiness, basically. <laughs> and the OnlyFans is a great example. Like, I could let me not speak too loudly. But I couldn't imagine paying for OnlyFans when there's a trillion porn sites. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And then on top of that, the porn sites will have some of the OnlyFans content. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, you've been you finding pay? so many IG you lives on Pornhub. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, and you like, just be coming like, across them by accident. Like, by they accident? Do this? By accident. On IG Live? Wow. Oh, cool. I like, like <laughs> watch for a few minutes. I thought I had to Look where have a gander. <laughs> oh, this is free? <laughs> For the gratis? Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, I can't really knock them because, you know, they hustling during this time. and I would never hate awesome on that. No, nah, never. But I was literally are... thinking, I almost thought I wish I was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got OnlyFans, too? Yo, well, like, yeah, like, yeah, no, dudes got only fans. Um, yeah, let me ask you, let your girl. Yeah, do I don't know if fans. anyone's gonna pay me a hundred thousand a month to <laughs> talk right. to them, right? I could start an OnlyFans for my <laughs> for my wings. When not where I'm at right now. It's not like it's like <laughs> shake my dick. <laughs> Doing the weird yeah, stuff, they'd be like, "Watch me get beat up by <laughs> the other two guys." <laughs> <laughs> Watch me get what? <laughs> Watch this girl step up. on my nuts with six inch heels. <laughs> oh God! I get slapped by different people. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually do that. Hey, I saw a tweet that said yeah, OnlyFans. It's a, it's a OnlyFans, but it's people's grandmothers showing you how to cook, and they call it Only Grams. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. But uh, Boomer, you was about to ask something. I think that's a good question. I was gonna say, would y'all let your girl, your girlfriend, get a, a OnlyFans? See, nowadays you probably already met her. You probably met her, and she already had one. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, what can you do about it? Honestly, if she had one, I, I don't know. I would feel a Did way you? if she was if she was nude and. Like playing with toys and stuff. That's different. If, like, if she was if doing she's that, just twerking and stuff. God. If she's just twerking and you know shaking ass, I wouldn't mind. But she's Hell like no. playing with toys and she's naked. Personally, I, I, I personally I'd have a problem with it. Hmm. Uh, to me, it's a lack the, of creativity. You can't find another way to make some money. Eh. On, on the real, I probably wouldn't even have a problem with it. To be honest, even no. if she was doing what you were saying, dramatic. Like I would be like, yo, you yeah, I, I've seen a, I've seen a couple of videos of like, <laughs> I've seen a crazy one. They're they're actually pretty. I I I've never thought I'll watch this for entertainment purposes, like simply entertainment purposes. There's this one girl that or woman that she does it in like public places in her car. <laughs> so she, oh, so yeah. she I think she I saw was that in the too. back of a Uber, 
and she like the Uber stopped to get to pump some gas and she pulls her pants down and she just like sets the, the phone down by the cup holder and she's like <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm by, by, like, by oh any God, means is Uber gonna catch her? Is Uber gonna catch her? And then I'm thinking like imagine how many people who had so much money to throw away that don't even think twice about paying for anything, let alone questioning their decision making on what they're spending their money on. Mm-hmm. would probably pay for something like that. And I was like, and then I thought, oh man, she seems like a fun person. And then I started asking myself, would I have a problem with having a girl that did something like this? And then the more I thought about it, the more I, I thought I cared less. Mm. But I can't say till I'm in the situation, like I, I'm oh, sure yeah. I'd be fine. I'm sure I'd be fine until like a random nigga walks up to her when we out somewhere. It's like, oh shit, you that girl, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm like. <laughs> right, now you got to kill somebody. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Or because also, also, somebody on Twitter brought up a good point. All the kids in the future, they're gonna be getting roasted at school. But like, oh, I got you about my OnlyFans, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But I guess all in all, I wouldn't really have a problem with it. It would be something that I'd be open to, just like see what it's about. Like, you know, on, do your thing. Let's do it together. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be like, you yeah, get me on I mean, I would, I would be opposed to that either. I would, de- yeah, I'd be like, what's up? Let's, let's get it cracking. Let's get this buddy girl. You don't even gotta show my face. It's cool if you don't want to. Yeah. I'm cool. Like, just let's get it cracking, man. Hey, it's Everybody quarantine. I'm supposed masks, to be masked man. up anyway. It'll probably make the views go up too. <laughs> it's like a special episode. Like, oh my god, it's a real day. <laughs> 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 hey everybody, this is no, that's Tracy. real though. I, that would be tapping into some. This content. is my boyfriend. He's gonna watch me play with myself. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't. Well, I'd be, I'd be in there. <laughs> what are you talking he about? said I'd be in there. You just see me standing <laughs> in the corner or in the closet. It's not creepy. Not creepy at all. <laughs> not creepy at all. <laughs> Eyes poking out. I'd be the- like, oh my god, he's here again. <laughs> <laughs> like I am moving. <laughs> <laughs> you listen, you see the <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. <laughs> Yo, did Every, we run out of okay. time? <laughs> no, we no, are, no. But, um, that was actually that. As, as Flock of Zulu says it so eloquently, I think that's the episode, fellas. Just it is. Episode. Oh, no. It's just about an episode. I apologize. But oh, before okay. We go, oh, no. <laughs> before we go, make sure you follow us on IG. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, at TPSG Podcast. We'll be dropping probably like one or two episodes a week on the Zoom. So, mm-hmm. you know, tune in. I'll let you boys. And oh. it's been your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Wade Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, Loud Fat Chopra, Malcolm Vex, and Quarantine Tarantino. And also, a.k.a. the handsomest nigga at prom. Look at that nigga. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ha it's Flock of Zulu, aka Sir Black Sign of Herd, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Wave Named, aka Sub Negro, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Ironical. Ical. Ironical. <laughs> you already know it's your boy, I see Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, aka Samurai Black, aka Shabby Ranks, aka Swiss. Army nigga, Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga, hold the last note. It's your boy David Bomay, aka Chico Fantastico, the Fantastic Chico, aka Sirac Obama, aka Hennessy Black. Y'all have a good night. I'll let y'all see y'all next episode. New the guy. Go, go. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and clean your ass. All in that order. Grandma said. <laughs> All in, in that, that order. order. <laughs> <laughs>